So here's a 1960s, 70s, 80s, I'm not entirely sure. I got to check the serial number. Uh, King 1240. Um, it has the original recording bell down over there, but right now I have a York uh, Monster E flat bell on here. It's off of a Helicon from the early 19 teens. Uh, silver plates. I got to polish it up and make it look nice. The engraving's still in good shape. Um, but the body is a King 1240. I know it's a 1240 because it still has the pigtail in the third valve and uh, the braces are still pretty old and it's a three valve it's not nothing special there um serial numbers pretty old too um it needs some work it's got some denting down in this outer bow here um some good number of creases but it's far enough in the um bugle that it really doesn't make much of a difference it's kind of like when you get dents in the outer bows here they really don't make much of a difference for you know my purposes at least um uh i i can see that the because you have a dent down there because this was pressed in here the valve tubing and everything is kind of wonky it's not perfect but the slides move well got good pop um, it works pretty well as is um, I may add a fourth valve to this I'm not sure yet I'd have to find like either another four valve section to mount on this or get a like con 36k valve or something um, or another king valve I got a king giant valve section I could use but I don't want to harvest one valve off of a perfectly three valve section that I can use for something else. Anyways, so I may swap the first valve tubing so that it is can be used as a top slide instead of just the bottom slide, even though mm, it sort of plays like a sousaphone, so I don't really have to worry about moving the second, first valve much at all. Uh, valves are in pretty good shape. Uh, there is some pitting on them, nothing to be you know worried about really. Uh, certainly nothing I'm I'm too concerned with. Uh, it needs a little few little repairs here and there, but nothing too terrible. sharp I know that for sure uh, the recording bell uh, yeah, well it's a recording bell so they're gonna play you know it's, it's built as a recording bell so I'm pretty sure I have to lengthen the main tuning slide or find somewhere to add a couple inches um, and I know the uh, so swapping to this upright bell is gonna play sharp but uh, it plays really well throughout the range It's just a loose fitting bell in here. It's not held in with a tenon yet. I gotta get that done uh, pretty soon. since I've been able to play down in the bottom register and not really practiced. The um, uh, sax horn doesn't really play down there that well. It's just sort of a weird instrument. Um, this is a much more open instrument compared to that one. The bell, I think, plays around with that, the sort of weird way it's been designed and 
There's a lot of straight bore tubing right before, the, right after the main tuning slider in order to match, match the uh, valve section into the body on that instrument. But this one plays really well. Plays just like any other tuba that I would have expected. Um, I've never had a K1244. I've had 1216, which had valves more like a sousaphone on it. Um, I've always been curious about the uh, valve position on these because I've had a Holton 345 which had more vertical valves and that was very uncomfortable on my, my uh, wrist and pinky, especially to play in low range. So having this one with just sort of enough of an angle on it um, fits with my hand better with how I, I play. Um, it's sort of difficult to express in that manner, but um, the big reason I, one of the big reasons I sold the Holton 345 is just the valve angle on it. I just couldn't get over having my hand stuck like this to play the valve because the third valve is so far away and the fourth valve shifts the strain on my pinky. I just couldn't stand it. Uh, but this is very comfortable. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to slap Uh, obviously, you have a, a small um, uh, dog leg here, so you could make some minor adjustments if you needed to uh, with adding a fourth valve. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very nice playing instrument. Picked it up this morning. There you go.